Paul's Craft again. It's raining outside. I just got home from work. So let's have a play with the newest snapshot of Minecraft, 14W17A. And the reason that this is such an exciting mod, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh yes, snapshot is a new kind of world of you that you can create. And I'm going to call this one um, something meaningful, something resplendent, something that you could look forward to and look up to and say, yes, I know that word, world. I'll call it Fred. Now I'm going to put this into creative mode. Not normally you do that, but let's go here to more world options. World type. Now, um, just for comparative purposes, the seed for all of these worlds you're going to see is 12288. Um, if I remember correctly, for my Commodore 64 days, that um, was... What was it? Oh yes, I'm sure it was the memory space in a Commodore 64 where um, you would, your character, custom character set would go. At least it's whenever I played with the things. In any case, speaking of customized, we now have a new world type. Just take a look at it. Customized. So, we're going to customize. So look at all of these. Look at all of these sliders and things. So we can decide if we're going to have strongholds, yes or no. Well, of course we need them if we're going to go to the end. Mine shafts, yes or no. Ravines, yes or no. And of course, caves, villages, temples, dungeons, water lakes, lava lakes, lava oceans. Ooh. How big biomes are. How rare lava lakes are, water lakes are. I get the impression that um, the lower the number, the more common they are. What kind of biomes you have? Now this slider here, the biomes one, isn't actually all that useful. Because you get ocean, plains, desert, extreme hills, forest, tiger. Right now, if I was to use that, the whole map would be nothing but swampland. Boring. You can change the size of rivers from five all the way down to one. I'm going to leave that here. You can decide how many dungeons you're going to have. In this case, it seems to be about... Well, we're going to have up to a hundred. Good grief. That's a certain death. Sure. And the sea level. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop it down. I'm going to lower the sea level, yes! Uh, do we want dungeons? Well, why not? Dungeons are fun. But let's go to the next page, number two of four. And we can even change how often something spawns. So we've got dirt, we've got gravel, we've got granite. Whoops. Diorite and andesite, because that's the new uh, stone. Those are three stone types in. new varieties. We've got coal and everything. We've got iron, we've got gold, redstone, diamond ore. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to do that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, what was it? I think it was about there. that? Anyway, where are we? Okay, so this set page is all about setting ores and how often ores appear. So you could have uh, so have something that's very little rock and lots and lots of dirt. Um, you could have uh, something that's uh, almost all rock and no dirt. And so on. Page 3, we start to get into the advanced settings which don't actually mean very much. Um, as somebody has complained, Minecraft is basically a rather dull noise function. So what we're looking at here obviously is uh, setting the noisy noise of it. So we could have, say, depth noise scale Z. I don't know what that means, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to halve these. Uh, that should about do it. Depth noise exponent. I wonder what that means. Um, height stretch 12. I think that's to do with making 
really great big cliffs, but that's actually quite annoying. Upper limits and lower limits, and we've got biome depth offsets and biome scale offsets. Uh, I wonder what that does. It wants depth offset anyway, so let's just twiddle, twiddle with that. We'll have a twiddle. Nothing like a good twiddle. Twiddle, 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 twiddle. Pardon, pardon. And then finally, even more. Actually, this page is like uh, the third one, except without the slider, so you can be a bit more accurate about it. So we'll click Done here. And we'll say it's all done. And let's see what happens. It creates a world. It builds the terrain. It is very, very wet outside. But we are in autumn here in Kiwi Land. The, the frame rate has gone very, very slow, which is unfortunate. The board is working very, very hard. Um, there is actually something wrong with the snapshot when it comes to um, doing things with um, selecting a map to play. Ah, here we are. And just let it um, rest itself away. Um, in the uh, single player map select menu, as soon as you click on a map, it immediately assumes, okay, you want to play? We'll play. Let's play. So here we are in some fairly classic scenery. Up, up and away. So, we have beach forest, we also have lots of chunks, still chunking, chunk chunk they go, chunk chunk, and there's a little lava pool which any moment now is going to set those trees on fire, and it is still getting very very dark, it has clouds in chasms. Uh, let's see if we can find something else. That's interesting. Very interesting shapes and designs and things. So if we go over here, now as I was stating before, now take a look down there. See that uh, patch of dirt? Normally, now that's normally where uh, sea level would be. The generation function basically doesn't take into account lowered sea level. And as you can tell uh, things are still getting mighty dark. But apart from that this is a quite impressive and reasonable looking. Is that fine? No, there's rose bushes. That's alright then. So now we have uh, these amazing, um, these completely bonkers mountain ranges that are totally unlike anything I've ever seen. Uh, let's see what happens if I go down here. We've changed biomes. Yes, this could actually be quite an exciting uh, form of gameplay, you know, these mad hallelujah mountains. Or more like uh, hell and ice. Uh, what kind of mountains do we have here? We have. Whoops. I think we've just gone right off the edge of the map because we're now in some roofed forest. I haven't seen any sign of uh, seas yet. So I wonder if the... Uh, I'm not quite sure what the jiggering's done. Um, I think, most likely, it'd be a good idea if... Some... I mean, this is... Obviously, it's going to take a lot of experimentation. And I hate to say it, but I've got uh, some... I think I have some Salmonella dub going bonkers in my brain. 
as you can see, I'm basically uh, overtaking the uh, rizzing algorithm. Hi there, sheep. But it's certainly an impressive view. What a view. Mad, 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 mad. Haven't found any uh, biomes yet. I may have set things up too big. Anyway, that's uh, what I've been able to do so far. Uh, this is not the little trick I've found. When it comes to building your... If you find that the uh, map is raising too down slowly, you can just uh, pause the game and as long as this chunk's still on the pipeline, it'll chunk a chunk its way. Always useful. Or maybe it won't. Yep, there it goes. Boom! Now we're in planes. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane, especially the plane that is, I mean, it's, it's basically like extreme hills for Well, it's actually what it is, it's, it's a kind of extreme hills It is obviously completely and utterly. It's, it's just utterly bonkers. You can actually have quite a lot of fun in a map like this. We've got cr insane lunatic spires. We've got. Um, oh, it's unbelievable. Just crazy. Bonk. Yeah, but in any case, um, what else you do in my head anyway? One six four. Wow. Yeah, still quite a lot of lag, obviously. Um, anyway, let's get out of here, shall we? I'm going to create another. Let's, let's create another one. Let's call it um, Dave. I want to call it Dave. Customized, customized. So, um, sea levels and. It up. We've got 74. Dungeon count 7. Water Lake Rarity is 4. Love Lake Rarity. Lake's even rarer. Uh, we push up river sizes. That's 3. Next page. Um, this gravel. Uh, we'll zoom up the depth of the place. Whoops, uh, ran out of time on that last one, so uh, height scale. What is height scale anyway? Go 338. Height stretch. Uh, well, we'll just leave it there, I think. I won't bother with biome depth offsets or anything. Actually, I probably will. Um, so I like bio depth obviously. Um, so do that. It should be fun. Let's see how this goes with always one idea. Right. Loud cheats on, just be on the safe side, green new world. Here we are. Alright, whoops. 
and I'm just going to okay slash no slash game mode zero So that's obviously obviously high up for a reason. So let's go have a look. Let's see what we found. Well, I spawned in roofed forest. And a bit of planes work. I wonder if there's a way of exaggerating the So it's not not as steep at this time, which is interesting. So it's just rolling hills, which is uh, all mildly interesting. In fact, I think really um, what I was uh, monkeying around with before was probably. It had lots and lots of uh, steep hillsides, lots of blocks to render, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's probably why its rendering was so blast, so blasted slow. Um, there's another. Let's see if we can find some oceans, because I'll be doing. Because I'm starting to get the suspicion that it's quite possible that. A spotted village on this map. Hello, that looks suspiciously suspicious. So let's go over here. Oh, yes, here we are. I'm going to put on F3 again. Oh, yep, and here we are. 75. The waterline has risen. Also, let's go down here again. Notice that these blocks are still green. Again, that's to do with the terrain generation algorithm. The algorithm, if it's a dirt block, plonks it down as grass, with a, as a grass block, um, regardless of whether or not it's going to end up underwater. It's a uh, one little, I wouldn't say, I'm not sure if it's a bug or a feature. Personally, I'd say a bug. As we orbit around yet more roofed forest. Foofed forest. Foofed. Oh! What is that? Unless it's a. It's a witch house. Hello, witch house. Oh, of course. We're, um... Now I remember. This is swamp. Well, though it would be swamp if it wasn't so far up. Hmm, that's kind of neat. Didn't spot a witch, though. Funny that. Anyway. have changed and they've changed and the change has actually been pretty profound so now obviously with those settings that I was faffing around with Swampland is a lot drier and oh look it's painted desert lovely
Anyway, that's me. Anyway, that's um, pretty much. Anyway, that's pretty much me. Um, having a bit of a mess around with the new snapshot and its ability to customize your world generation. Now, there are a few things that, frankly, I would prefer to be changed about the whole business. Uh, uh, one of which is... First off, I would like to see that slider that allows you to select... Um, you've got to be so careful with uh, the leaping up and down. Yeah, anyway, I would like to see more sophistication when it came to the... being able to select what biome types you could have, for instance, instead of a slider that says you can have you can have this and nothing else, being able to say open up a fifth page and tick off a checkbox. Box that is, do you want this? Uh, yep, tick the checkbox. Do you want that? No, check check the tick box. I mean Tick the checkbox. I mean, talk to Ting Tong. What's the saying again? I'll get it right one of these days. But you get the idea. The idea. That'd be one way. Of course, what I will not be happy, sad, happy with is until they put in a way to uh, allow you to insert custom structures into a Minecraft map, because that'd be so cool. It'd be like uh, the Ruins mod, which I remember seeing a long time ago and thinking was uh, the greatest thing ever. Well, I thought it was the greatest thing ever, but on reflection, there are issues with it. But as you can see, everything's very high off the... Um, high in the sky. I'm beginning to wonder if... I must stretch the biomes and uh, drop the oceans down even more. We could get a completely different idea. Anyway, let's get out of here. So here's some of the presets we get. Um, we've got something called Isle Land, Cavers Delight, which is pretty hairy to go f go with. Something called Good Luck, which scares the living. Woohoo out of me. I think I've had a look at Caves of Chaos. I even tried playing a short bit of survival in there, but I couldn't get very far because everything just lagged out so badly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this one. What I might try though is this one, um, Isle Land, because I've got a thing for and see what it does. Can't see any uh, obvious difference here. No, it doesn't change that at all. Next page. So what's it done? Depth noise exponents. It's almost as though it's... Um, yeah, I think it actually has changed a few things. Anyway, done. Let's, let's see what that does. see what it's done. It's uh, obviously created thumping great hig bollows. I um, wonder if it's safe to try punching trees. Yes, I feel like punching a tree. I will punch trees. I feel like punching trees. Um, you might have noticed there flip frame um, 
and also terribly laggy. Yeah. Yes, it's uh, as you can see, it's not very. Responsive, is it? So they've obviously got a few bugs to iron out in this whole sordid affair. this is actually um, not the most simple of Minecraft maps. So I'm going to take a look around, is there some way out of here? It does not look like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a swim. Hang on, here we go. Yes, bloosh. I think we can see pretty much where it came from. Somewhere up there, I think. Deary me. But you can also tell that uh, this is very, very stoppy starty business. So I'm going to. Yeek. As you can tell, lots of Sky Islands means lots of shade, and lots of shade means lots of monsters. I mean, I know the technical term is mob. Or, or MOBE, I suppose, for mobile, hostile, nasty creature go away, I tell you. But I think you get the idea. It's a, good, it's a great idea in practice anyway, especially for, say, making a custom map that's got distinctive visuals as opposed to the regular, oh look, a forest fire, how sweet. And there really is a lot of uh, lag just watching the uh, sun creep its way and keep slipping back upon the sky. So, the new custom worlds, I think they've got some possibilities. I just don't think, at this point in time, that it's quite ready for prime time yet. There's some extra bits that they could do. Anyway, I think I'll leave it at that.